welcome to our ongoing coverage of the beautiful Whitsundays. As we've seen, development of the area began in the late 1960s when its unique qualities for cruising were recognised. This led to the development of shore facilities and the sleepy town of Airlie Beach came alive as more and more locals and overseas visitors came to appreciate just how much it has to offer. But this pointed up one of the few deficiencies of the area. This had to do with more, the mooring of boats and particularly access to the shops of Airlie Beach for provisioning. Thanks to the development of Hamilton Island, the landing facilities at Chute Harbour came online fairly early, but Chute is around 16 kilometres from Airlie, making it difficult for people who were sailing or cruising to make the return journey, particularly when they're loaded with supplies. The only alternative was to anchor off Airlie and transfer people and goods by dinghy. This was okay, but the large tidal rise and fall meant that the activities had to be restricted to half tide or above. In short, Airlie badly needed a marina. Just to west of the township there is a bay known as Shingley Beach and there was a battered old pier here which was popular with fishermen. In fact Ron Earl of Orlando Resort ran the area's first fishing charter business from this old pier. The site was ideal for a marina and construction of the facility began in 1988. The nature of the land and water area restricted the available room to some extent, but with some reclamation to provide a flat area for the shore facilities and a deepening of the harbour and access channel, a modern all-weather marina with a capacity of 237 berths was built. Australia leads the world in marina design. In contrast to most other countries, our marinas are near the coast and tide and weather requirements have led to facilities which are state of the art. Able Point's no exception and being one of the later projects and located in a cyclone area, it features a floating installation which is strong and secure whatever the weather as well as support facilities to cater for a huge number of daily movements, some of them involving vessels of over 20 metres in length. These facilities include a large capacity fuel installation providing diesel, super and unleaded and more recently the first marina LPG installation for public use provided by Elgas. This is the beginning of a new and exciting trend in marine fuel, one we'll be watching with great interest. The rock wall which encloses the harbour is designed to maintain smooth water in the heaviest weather and rises four metres above the highest anticipated tidal surge. It's fully cyclone rated. There are four marina arms catering for vessels from 11 to 24 metres. A hundred of the 237 berths are taken up with commercial operators and charter fleets. There are 50 berths devoted to itinerant yachts and cruisers with the remainder filled with local, privately owned vessels of all types. The facilities are extended with independently operated slipping, dry storage and repair yards. There's a public launching ramp and a free council car park with long-term trailer parking bays. Apart from the normal day-to-day -day activities of a busy marina, Abel Point is host to a number of charter and commercial operators serving the 74 islands. These cover the full spectrum from day and overnight fishing and dive charters right up to Fantasy's cruises with their reef trip and ferry services. As a result, around a thousand people pass through Abel Point Marina every day. This has led to the provision of a number of support facilities for both the operators and their passengers. Davis Marine provide mechanical repairs of all kinds, reef refrigeration look after the fridges and freezers, and marine electrics and 24-hour mechanical repairs are handled by Able Point Marine Services. There is a cafe with takeaway food and drinks and a well-stocked store, and an excellent restaurant and bar called Able's was opened early in November 1996. This features superb views of the islands and mainland to the north. The dive shop's very busy with equipment hire and dive courses. Whitsunday Unlimited takes care of tour and accommodation bookings as well as bear bait and day trips. The marina office building takes berth bookings, clears mail and faxes for the residents, provides weather and navigation information and arranges repairs. The main block has toilets and showers and a laundry. There is a sail maker, a shop selling fishing gear, and the marina is home to a number of charter operators, including Sail Whitsunday, Mandalay Sailing, Whitsunday Escape, and Cumberland Charters, along with Queensland Yacht Charters. The marina is five minutes walk from the centre of Airlie Beach, and with its extensive range of facilities, it's clear that it provides a much needed infrastructure, which greatly adds to the ability of the area to service the ever-growing tourism demands, as well as the needs of the locals. 
Able Point Marina certainly is the place to stop off at when you visit Airlie Beach.